What it do, bro? I mean, the first question I gotta ask you, when you went down to the combine, how many folks asked you about Coach Whitted's speed? Oh, man. It had to be just about everybody. Everybody knew him, you feel me? They knew Coach Whitted could take the top off anytime, and they know he ran track, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So they asked me a lot. So my question to you is, you ready? I know I'm ready. Yeah. I just needed a chance. That's all I needed. Bobo gave yeah. me that chance here, took it ran with it. No doubt, bro. You know, they gave me a chance to go down to the combine. I did what I had to do. Yeah. I'm back up here for pro day. You know, get one more good day in. Yeah. And then it's all breeze from there. I was supporting you the whole way, you feel me? You and my boy Mox, whole whole team, man. And it's it's exciting to see you, bro. Well, I know the first the very first time I was after that Utah State game, you said, Boy, there go that kid right there up on yeah. Twitter. And I said, I got an NFL player shout me out, dog. <laughs> I just got to keep going. I just got to keep yeah. going. No that doubt, was the bro. most exciting thing I ever got in a while, yo, for real, for real. Like, yeah. I mean, that, and even before I even came to CSU, all they told me about Hollywood Higgins. I, yeah. I don't know how many times I watch your highlight tape. It say like 87K. I'm at least a thousand of them. For real, Just bro. Just a thousand? I swear, bro. Yeah. I be watching that junk all the time. Like, I be like, he be taking stuff to the house, little no screens. Doubt, I was just trying to get like that. Yeah. Hey, coming from like a small school, smaller D1, I feel like a lot of people doubt us, bro. You feel the same way? Oh, I know that. When I went down to the combine, everybody was like, what you gonna run? Just a regular 4-6? And I said, yeah. 4-6? That's just, I mean, you know, a lot of folks say you can't play with the best. I went down to senior bowl, I did my thing, yeah. you know. Um, then folks started hearing about me. I mean, I can play with the best, dog. Yeah. I know that from watching you, too. No doubt, you can bro. play with the best, too. That's just how it is. It's just opportunities, bro, I'm telling you. And then, then once you get your opportunity, you run with it, bro. You don't, you don't look back, you feel me? And I feel like a lot of teams was like, oh, he ran slow. He didn't test too good, you feel me? I don't believe in none of that hype. Like that was the same way when I was coming out. Oh, he he supposed to be this and whatnot. I don't listen to nobody, you feel me? I just do what I'm supposed to do and go on about my business. They say I'm not fast enough. You see me take the top off Pittsburgh game, you feel me? I ain't, <laughs> I I ain't to too worried about the hype, bro. Game, dude. I seen me? that. I ain't too worried about none of the hype, bro. So my words of advice, bro, don't don't believe nothing nobody tell you. Just just stay grounded, you feel me, and do what you gotta do, bro. When I came in as a freshman, I was nervous, you feel me? Like, I was like, dang, I'm at a, I'm at a D1. Um, all these boys big, you feel me? Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm just trying to fit in. And it was at a point in time where it, was, it came to Alabama game. And sh you know me, I'm a, I'm a freshman, bro. That. Everybody out there big, they finna go to the league. And I was like, man, this finna be, Hit or miss, bro. I mm -hmm. play with them on NCAA. So now it's <laughs> my turn to go off, bro. Feel me? So I gave it all my I, I gave it all I got, bro. And it was at that point I was like, man, you know what? They they big or whatnot, but they ain't they ain't really all that. Put the pads on the same way you do. Same way, bro. <laughs> Feel me? So then I, I felt like after that game, I had I had like, I don't even know my stats, bro. I, I did pretty good, you feel me? And it was at that point in time I was like, you know what? I, I feel like I can ball with anybody. Uh, it was a little bit, it was a little bit bu uh, bumpy for me at the first part. Um, you know, just getting used to how fast the game speed was. Yeah. You know, from JUCO to um, coming into the D1. And uh, I, I remember the first time we uh, went down there to play uh, Colorado. Yeah. Playing in Denver and Broncos Stadium. I was, you know, before Nick was saying hut, I was still looking up like, <laughs> why? You know, on TV. Yeah. But um, I would say the same thing. I mean, like, there's this uh, little kid named Bryson. Uh, he's come just about every single game we had. Um, I gave him my bowl game jersey from uh, my junior year. Um, just be able to, you know, see the smile that you put on his face. No doubt. And then uh, having the fans come out there. I mean, even if you're losing, um, it, it really didn't matter to me. Um, yeah. After the game, you know, you still got some of those people that support you, and no doubt. obviously, you know, getting texts from you just keep your head up and keep going. No that, doubt, bro. That's what I. That's what I try to uh, try to do. Try to go on for it. You feel me? Yeah. My first time seeing like a fan with my face in the stands, bro. I was like.
dang, bro, like we did, like this is real, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And it wasn't even at a football game; it was at a basketball game. They still got it. They <laughs> still got it. <laughs> they hold up some popcorn, then they'll hold up your face right there. And yeah. I'm like, boy, that man's that's a legend. Cra that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Well, I gotta tell you, bro. Coach Whitty came into my house, bro. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna skip before that, though. Uh, Coach Whitty, um, he hit me up. Well, I. Well, I had a dude hit him up, and he went to West Mesquite. He had like 20 offers. I was like, bro, how you do this, you feel me? He wasn't even cold or nothing. Yeah. I'm right down the street. I'm like, dang, bro, I, I need to get put on, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to ball, you feel me? Yeah. So he hit up Coach with it. I'm not sure if his name is going gonna to click in a little bit, but he was like, um, I got this coach from Colorado State. Um, he might be interested in you. Coach with it texted me or whatnot. He came to a basketball game. You know me, boy. I'm like, Jordan out there, boy. For real. Hey. <laughs> I'm ducking that thing. Coach Whitty already knew I was athletic, you feel me? So he came with Jim McElwain. Jim McElwain put his foot on the desk. I got an offer. You going you gonna to take it or you going to leave it, you feel me? I was like, man, I want it. I'm going to go ahead and take it. It was just from that point on, Coach Whitty just, he believed in me, you feel me? And I never respect a man like that, cause he, that's like a, a man, like a father. You feel me? Yeah. Like he, he gave me his word, and he, he went through with it. You feel me? So, I, sure. I respect Coach Whitty for that. And then the whole CSU, he was always on me, always on me. And he made, he made me a better player by, by just keep pushing me and just just making sure I stay on top of whatever he'll come in with he probably still do it put the grades on the on the little board or whatnot <laughs> yeah. he want to call out everybody you feel me but now nah, it's just like little stuff like that 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 keeps you pushing you feel me to to do better in life and I respect him for that I would definitely um I agree with all that stuff you just said yeah. but I would definitely say uh coach with it you know the biggest thing he ever did for me was you know teach me how to grow up yeah um you know, I go into practice, uh, there'll be a couple of things, you know, I do it, but I was always just just a little bit more talented than, you know, the opponent, no so I wouldn't go as hard. Um, and Coach Whitted said, I mean, you can't do that. You yeah. can't do that no more. Um, but also, like, I could go in Coach Whitted's office at any time of the day, anything, um, you know, and if he didn't have an answer for me right then, he was going to find out for it. me. Yeah, yeah um, but definitely a father figure for me, too. Yeah. Um, you know, he was hitting me up at a combine. Yeah. You know, I was down there <laughs> talking to teens and stuff. You know, I was getting a little bit aggravated. Um, and, you know, he said, just take a deep breath, you know, go back in there. No doubt. Um, so, you know, definitely have his uh, presence and, you know, him playing in the league for so long, you know, you can learn a couple of things. No from doubt. Wick. No <laughs> doubt. Already. I would say I definitely, I definitely still got to prove myself. I would say at the combine, I, I proved, I proved enough. I proved that I got great hands. I don't have the best speed. I ain't got the best routes. Yeah. But every time they threw me that ball, I was that secured. Thing. Yeah. I was secured. Um, but, you know, just to go out here and, Show them that I actually love playing football, yeah. having fun, you know, doing what I want to do. So I think the biggest thing I got to prove to anybody uh, is that, you know, I can compete in this game. No doubt. Be the best. So My thing would be, bro, um, I just want an opportunity, you feel me? Like when I'm working out with all these NFL guys, I'm thinking opportunity. Well, I'm going to go hard right here because it's going to give me another opportunity, you feel me? Um, when the team, like when we meet out of teams in the NFL com the combine or whatnot, I'm just saying like, y'all give me an opportunity, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I mean, I ain't, I ain't really established that yet, but you feel me, like, I'm working for an opportunity. That's all I want, bro. And when that opportunity come, I'm gonna be ready because I've been working for it all my life. I miss everything that came with Colorado State football, bro. I miss everything about it, bro. You miss walking the campus every day. I miss all my homeboys. I miss, I miss Garrett. I miss everybody, bro. You feel me? So yeah. it's like once you're done, you're done, bro. And it, it ain't nothing like it in the NFL because it's a business at that point, bro. I don't know how you feel because I'm, I'm there. I'm at that point now, and you gonna feel the same way, bro. I just gotta let you know that. Hey. Colorado State, man, I love y'all forever. Y'all all, hey, peace be with me, you feel me? I love y'all, you feel me? <laughs>
shoot, to all the fans out there at Colorado State, we did this for you.